everybody, this is Snook. I'm here to just let you know how to do a quick recording of your lesson. If you're going to uh, do some online teaching and you want your students to have a clear idea of what it is that you want to do, we're going to use a extension for Google Chrome called Screencastify. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to screencastify.com. And when you do, if you don't already have this on your uh, tools, you're going to have a blue button up here that says add to Chrome. You'll click on that and you'll make your account with your work email and it will add the button to the upper right hand of your address bar. When it's time to make a recording of your lesson or your screen, whatever it is that you want to uh, ship out to your students, even if it's a, just a video message of your webcam, you press on this little arrow and it'll open up this box and you have a choice of what it is that you want to show. Um, you can also do a microphone and webcam test here just to make sure that everything is working okay. And then you hit record. Next thing you do, you're going to be getting a window up here that asks you again what it is that you want to share. You'll select on the option that best fits your needs and you're going to hit this share button, which is over here. It'll turn blue. And once you do that, there will be a countdown to your recording. And once that has started, you're going to see at the bottom of your screen this message, like you can see down here at on my screen. And you'll see this toolbar pop up on the left hand side. You don't have to use the tools. It's there if you want to. So now I'm going to just do a quick demonstration of how I would use this. You can't use the recording. I'm sorry, the, the viewing a slideshow, this option. I'm going to, so if I were going to present this like this, it would present the screen, but I would not be able to use any of the tools that I would need for teaching what I'm about to show you. So I am going to keep it in the slideshow view. And I'm going to go down to a slide. And anybody who's familiar with Google Slides know you have different options of uh, drawing tools. You can also freehand it. And you can quickly do your lesson on um, what it is that you're going to teach for that moment or you, what you need them to know. and I am just going to quickly squig squiggle in here how a bacteria reproduces so that you can see how you can do it. They can take notes on their end. You're leading them on. You can talk over it, do a voiceover. And um, I forgot a step. <laughs> Hard to do two things at once. So over here in this step, the bacteria actually makes a copy of its DNA. So you can copy and paste, copy and paste, and move that into your drawing so that you can have your steps. Correct for the students make your adjustments. If you're doing a live lesson and you're doing a, a live drawing, it takes time and you need to be patient with yourself. You do have a time limit on these screencastifies. It is, uh, I believe, 15 minutes that are free. And you have a limit of doing 15, I'm sorry, 50 videos a month. All right, so I'm not going to continue this lesson. If you are more interested in how bacteria reproduces, you can look it up on YouTube. And it does say that my recording will end in a few seconds. So I guess they have changed the amount of time that you are allotted. So it would be five minutes. So I will show you how to do embedding a YouTube video in part two.